Hello, and welcome to another episode of Inventor's Quick Tips. In this episode, I am going to discuss an inventor's story. And this is the story of an invention pioneer, Josephine Cochran, who is credited for inventing the modern dishwasher. And her story is quite interesting and also touches on some common themes that inventors encounter today, such as problem recognition, resourcefulness, adaptability, and perseverance all things that are helpful for any inventor out there. So let's take a look at her story. In the late 1800s, Josephine Cochran was a socialite. She and her husband William often entertained guests at their home. Accustomed to having servants do much of the housework for her, Cochran set out to create the dishwasher after realizing her fine china would often be chipped when being scrubbed in the sink. After one event, the servants were washing up and chipped some of the dishes. Cochran discovered this the next morning while she was putting the dishes away and was furious. She refused to let the servants handle the china anymore. At first, Cochran tried washing the dishes herself, but she quickly realized that washing dishes is no fun at all and thought to herself that there must be a better way to do this. And so we have the incubus of the problem recognition. Washing dishes is time-consuming, and yet care must be taken or the dishes could get damaged. After spending some time thinking about it, she came up with the basic concept for the first mechanical dishwasher. Just like she had been doing by hand, it held the dishes securely in a rack while the pressure of spraying water cleaned them off. She applied for and received a patent for her invention on December 28, 1886, and some images from that patent are shown here. Her husband died suddenly in 1883 and did not leave her in the best financial shape. She had to find a way to support herself and went all in on her invention, which she envisioned would be welcome in households everywhere. Her invention had wire compartments for plates, cups, and saucers, much like a dishwasher you see today. They were put in a wheel that lay f flat inside a copper boiler. A motor turned the wheel, pumping hot soapy water from the bottom of the boiler over the dishes. Cochran herself did not have mechanical training, but she enlisted the help of a mechanic to help make the machine. Her first customers were institutional customers, such as hotels, restaurants, and hospitals, rather than the residential customer base she envisioned. It would take another half century until about the 1950s before residential dishwashers caught on. Part of that was due to the modern construction of homes that included a sufficient hot water supply and a sufficient amount of electricity to run a dishwasher. But Josephine Cochran recognized the market that was available in her time, which was commercial applications and institutions, and started a company that was eventually purchased by Hobart, later KitchenAid, and Whirlpool. So a few takeaways for this story. First is that she was not the first to invent a dishwashing machine, but rather the first to make it viable. In a similar way, you could make the case that while Steve Jobs did not invent the portable digital music player, many do credit him with being the first to make it viable. It was not an easy road for Josephine Cochran. Starting a business is usually not easy under any circumstances, but in the late 1800s, women entrepreneurs faced headwinds that made her success even more remarkable. She had the idea for the machine and got collaborators to help turn her vision into reality. And finally, she had an adaptability to change. While she originally thought that these dishwashing machines would be in people's homes, the world was not quite ready for that in the late 1800s, as many homes did not have the hot water or power requirements to operate a dishwasher. However, she adapted and focused on commercial applications such as hotels, hospitals, and restaurants that did have the capabilities and need for an automated dishwashing machine. So hopefully you found this story interesting and it helps inspire you to keep working on your inventive endeavors. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Inventor's Quick Tips.